So uh, in this way, uh, that uh, with one with the uh, complete determination, carry through the uh, supplication prayer without any kind of doubts. So, Sanjiji ko wo mahatuji pardo, lama tengiri, lami tengi, the Sanjiji ko to guiri. So until we attain complete enlightenment, until to that we have to rely and depend on the Lama. So through the uh, gratefulness of the Lama, we could to just uh, get into the actual path. So this our uh, afflictive uh, emotion uh, afflictive emotional mind, uh, of course, it is uh, possible that we could to give rise to all sorts of conceptual thoughts. So, this uh, our mind, uh, how much the afflictive emotion that uh, which uh, constantly arise and then uh, with all sorts of doubts and this will just uh, always uh, obscure the uh, path of liberation. So all in the past, all these great masters and highly accomplished beings that they completely dedicated through the practice that abandoning the all sorts of afflictive emotions and also not caring for it, worldly concerns and then uh, with the single-pointed mind, they uh, end up uh, just continuously doing the practice for their whole lifetime. So, salam temba chido, yabo jire na gange kya da jiris. Of course, we all really like to be uh, get into those uh, high bumis or high realizations and high paths. Yena yo. Uh, but still, you know, we are uh, somehow from beginningless lifetime that they got so habituated with this uh, all sorts of defilement or afflictive emotion that which is constantly arising and that which we could not liberate. Uh, for instance, a small child, the moment he or she is born, uh, is uh, spontaneously all the afflictive emotions are just uh, completely there. So for that, uh, nobody has to give any kind of teaching or training on that. It is naturally there. <laughs> But to turn one's mind towards the Dharma, you know, however one just, you know, try to work hard and try to train, it is it still seems so difficult. So the, all this uh, samsaric or worldly activity, you know, however we just work for our whole lifetime, but still we could not uh, just get rid of that attachment or clinging to it. And uh, how much uh, difficult and uh, hardship we may have to go through, still we have great deal of patience. And whatever sorts of this material wealth and belonging, you know, just however we try to get that they never have any kind of contentment on it. 
So we never have that kind of contentment or satisfaction thinking that, oh, no, just I have enough, you know, this much is okay, and that way just uh, never satisfied. So, for instance, like uh, we collect uh, like uh, just all this uh, material belonging, even an empty house, we just keep, you know, collecting and filled up everything. Still, we want more. So somehow this, uh, our mind is also uh, emptiness, and uh, that is why, you know, how much uh, the wealth we may have, still we never feel satisfied, still there is the uh, wanting it more. So, in this way, uh, whatever that uh, uh, in relation with the material or a worldly activity, uh, we should to have uh, less uh, attachment or, you know, try to have some sort of contentment. And then he always try to give rise to devotion, inclination, and faith in relation with the uh, Dharma practice. And then he, on the other hand, within the samsara, whatever sorts of sufferings we are experiencing based on that, then he, we should realize that there is more suffering, and then he, through that way we should turn our mind towards the Dharma and concentrate into the real practice. So that with one's that mind, body, speech, uh, all uh, together concentrating into the uh, the uh, supplication prayer with single pointed uh, devotion and faith and inclination in relation with the one's you know root teacher you know until one attain complete enlightenment till to that one take refuge and uh, supplicate oneself uh, to continue with these practices <laughs> so then he also uh, need to generate compassion and loving kindness to all these the sentient beings uh, who are uh, one or other lifetime just related with oneself as a parent and they have been always very kind but still uh, because of not uh, recognizing their true nature and uh, of their obscuration and they are wandering in the samsara experiencing all sorts of suffering even you know in the hell realms that uh, which is unbearable so understanding that and then uh, one need to generate uh, compassion loving kindness so we all somehow to obtain the ultimate happiness, the complete enlightenment or the Buddhahood, then mainly we have to concentrate on the bodhicitta through which we can get into the right path. So, 
all the past buddhas and bodhisattvas the countless of them uh, that uh, concentrating into the uh, thought of bodhicitta and benefiting others other sentient being and uh, completely abandoning uh, self cherishment and that way they attain the you know ultimate happiness naso serako ne tajibad krawan chandu arano so the man lord mandan rande je je to ba no kona ji gani de naso krawan de tamatu ne du du ro so we are somehow from beginning less lifetime you know constantly concentrating for uh, self benefit and self cherishing and uh, uh, always uh, working uh, to accomplish uh, that and that is how we are still uh, could not liberate and uh, wandering in this samsara the tabi pono de manorwa sonje tonji sonje samba gi ki nena onji topa ngasole sungiyeres so that part of that uh, uh, what we need to abandon and what we need to apply into practice that as it is uh, completely or clearly taught by the buddhas and all these the masters naso na chona che o de 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 don don la che na ma do de san to ni ga me to ye do ni do so um, moment we hear all those uh, teaching then uh, for a moment we have uh, some sense of uh, feeling and then uh, we could not just retain in our mind and then again we forget everything not so tattoo ke de wa to ya po ji yo ashte pa na ke chige da de tena res so that uh, the most important part of all this practice is that for to obtain the ultimate happiness or the buddhahood oh yeah deva mugi se ji gene oh the nas so with the you know full uh, devotion and then the inclination uh, single pointed uh, faith then uh, we will do these prayers what then is lot the relationship as on the sea Uh, in this way with one single pointed mind and completely relying upon and then uh, do this the uh, supplication prayer pardon la mi ko son tule bon son kiron son remote dans de tout son son me va de moji so just uh, have a um, stabilized mind uh, in relation with the inclination of Uh, receiving the uh, just bus bus uh, empowerment secret empowerment and then the uh, um, the wisdom empowerment or word empowerment from the but is which mind of the uh, root teacher what then they gain it let me to the one say me to the son son la chili let me to the two son son je ton je je ah to the one here ma chi ba chi de so that uh, once root teacher in form of the guru padma sambhava uh, of course uh, it is uh, uh, inseparable uh, with the all the past present future buddhas you know enlightened mind and uh, according to that having that uh, sense of understanding and uh, the belief and then uh, as we do the meditation just uh, how the guru dissolve into one self and then they mingle or become non dual with one's body speech mind and then the guru's enlightened body speech mind and then they try to rest in that uh, nature long time she got rahu kinrochi the long shit chick there this rise chile rahu ke par jo so breathe uh, very softly and in a relaxed way and then uh, and the try to be a uh, little bit longer with the exhalation which means not to breathe in instantly on salmo chire da on salmo chire da don dene tegar koma o deni na ta de ju de men de tro so na men de so uh, today the talung is students and then the tegel uh, second year uh, stay uh, rest you all can uh, go to your places to do your practices okay thank you